OK, so now we're going to get into when we have a binomial with i in our denominator. And this is where a lot of students start making their mistakes, because so far we've been only dealing with a monomial. So what do students know from multiplying when we have a monomial? You multiply i in the top and the bottom. But the problem when we have a, a binomial is notice that this is in parentheses. So therefore, I need to distribute this. So when I distribute, what I'll have is I get 7i over 8i plus i squared. Well, yes, the i squared gets eliminated to the negative 1, but now we have an 8i. And if we just keep on multiplying by i in our denominator, we're always going to have an i in the denominator. And that's not what we're trying to do when dividing complex numbers. We want to eliminate the i in the denominator. So we need to think of something else. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to be calling multiplying by the conjugate. And multiplying by the conjugate goes back again to our uh, special products and special factoring techniques in the difference of two squares. So the conjugate, if I have a plus bi, the conjugate is going to be in the form of a minus bi. All right? And we'll show you why what happens when we take a value and we multiply it by the conjugate. So it's going to be the exact same value, except it's just going to be the opposite sign. So let's multiply by the conjugate and see what happens. So if I multiply by the conjugate in this form, since this is a plus i, my conjugate will be a minus i. Okay. So now we apply our distributive property. And then I'm like, oh man, I have a binomial times another binomial. I don't want to do FOIL. You know, it takes so long. But notice what happens when we have a number times its conjugate. That number times its conjugate is the same thing as the difference of two squares. a plus b times a minus b is the difference of two squares. These two terms are the same. These two terms are the same. The only thing difference is the signs. So that becomes a squared minus b squared. So multiplying by the conjugate is not so bad. All right, so I distribute that through. I get 56 minus 7i all over. Here, I'm just going to have 64 and 64, and then i. So 8 times 8 is 8 squared. i times negative i is going to be a negative i squared. It has to be very, very important that we're careful with our parentheses. This is i times negative i, so it's a negative i squared. i squared represents a negative 1. Net 64 minus a negative 1 ends up equaling 65. Then to write this in the form of a plus bi, I do 56 over 65 minus 7i over 65. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you uh, divide complex numbers when you have a denominator as a binomial. Thanks.